In 1994, he was third in the Heisman voting behind Kajana Carter and Rashawn Salam. But this quarterback's NFL career lasted two years longer than both of those players' pro careers combined. Hey, I'm Michael Callahan, and on this forgotten day in 1995, a story in the Chronicle reported that Alcorn State phenom Steve Air McNair was not yet the Oilers' consensus first-round draft pick choice. The Oilers were also considering receiver Michael Westbrook from Colorado, Kajana Carter, and defensive tackle from Miami, Warren Sapp. McNair was humbled by all of the attention he was receiving at the Combine, saying, I'm excited about my opportunity, but I'm surprised so many teams are interested in me. Well, when the draft finally rolled around, the Oilers took McNair as the number three pick in the first round. For his first two seasons with the Oilers, McNair started only six games and was predominantly a backup to Chris Chandler. And sadly for Houston fans, he wouldn't become the regular starter until the franchise moved east to Tennessee. In 2003, McNair had a QB rating of 100.3 and was named co-MVP of the league with Peyton Manning. Though tragically, he wouldn't be around to accept. Do you think McNair deserves to be in the Hall of Fame? I mean, he passed for over 31,000 yards and rushed for 3,500. Let me know in the comments below or tweet me, Michael Callahan at MCallahanTV using hashtag ForgottenDayHouston.